Hey everyone, in this guide, we cover the AT&T Turbo Hotspot to set up initial configuration, device connection and usage tips for reliable mobile internet. AT&T Turbo Hotspot 2 Use a guide, insert the SIM card and a battery, then power on your AT&T Turbo Hotspot 2 and fully charged it. Connect your phone or computer to the hotspot's Wi-Fi network using the SSID and password shown on the device screen and you will be ready to access the internet. Step 1. Insert the SIM card and battery. Remove the back cover of your Turbo Hotspot 2. Take out the battery if it's already inside. Insert your nano SIM card into the SIM slot with the gold contact facing down. Place the battery back into the compartment. Replace the back cover securely. Step 2. Charge and power on the device. Connect the hotspot to the charger and plug it into a power source. Allow the device to fully charge before forced use for optimal battery health. Press and hold the power button for about 3 seconds until the screen lights up. Step 3. Initial device setup. Once powered on, the device will prompt you to select your language. Use this navigation buttons to choose and confirm. Tap start to begin using the hotspot. Step 4. Connect your device to the hotspot. On your smartphone, tablet or computer, go to the Wi-Fi settings. Look for the Wi-Fi network name SSID displayed on your Turbo Hotspot 2's screen. Select this network and enter the Wi-Fi password shown on the hotspot display. Wait for your device to connect to the hotspot's Wi-Fi. Step 5. Access the hotspot management page. Open a web browser on your connected devices. Enter HTTP. 192.168.1.1 or http hotspot.webui in the address bar. When prompted, log in using the default admin password, the last eight digits of your device's IMEI number found under the battery. Step 6. Customize settings. It's optional to change Wi Fi password. Click the Wi Fi drop down menu on the left side of the screen and select Wi Fi basic settings. Edit the Wi Fi name and password as you like, then click save. Click OK to confirm the Wi-Fi network will restart. When powered on, you can see the new Wi-Fi credentials on the screen. Step 7. Connect additional devices. Repeat the Wi-Fi connection process on any other devices you want to connect. Use the SSID and password displayed on the hotspot screen for each device. Step 8. Tips for best performance. Place the hotspot in the central location for optimal Wi-Fi coverage. Avoid obstacles and keep the device away from electronic interface. Regularly check for software updates via the management page for improved performance and security. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button.